What's up guys? Welcome back to the Bonders channel. So we are a incredibly excited because we ordered the leaky trike from Duna and we are excited to see if this is as much of a game changer as the Duna car seat stroller has been in our lives. Um, and so we ordered the leaky trike S3 and I am going to unbox it here in front of you and let's just check it out. Let's check it out. Right. Here we go, here we go, Lucas. <gasps> what is this? What is in here? Let's open it up. Help mom. <laughs> yeah, this is for you. So Luke is handing me all of the parts. Hand it to mom. Oh, thank you. This is the handle for mom to push you. <laughs> that is so cute. You should follow him. No, it's not a vacuum, baby. That's not a vacuum. So I got everything out of the box, which has the leaky trike manual. Um, it has a little carry on, a little tote to carry things with. The handle. We got a cup holder for it, and then this looks like the, the back of the seat. And then here is the main trike itself, nice and folded. Okay, so I am gonna show you how to open this thing up here. There's the back. Looks like this just folds up nicely in one fluid motion. Here, let's do the handlebars. <gasps> handlebars. You want to get on? You want to get on? So that looks like a little extra piece there to keep them from falling. Come here, baby. So Luke is almost a year and a half, almost 18 months. Let's get you buckled. Hey guys. So it's been about a week with this leaky trike and I'm happy to share with you my first impressions. So one of the best things that they advertise is that it is great for traveling. It is very small, compact, you can put it in this little bag which is awesome and it truly does fit back in the bag. You know if you've had a tent or an air mattress or something like that, they never fit in the packaging that they come in. Not the case with this, it fits great. So I um, was very happy to take it on a little trip to the lake. We were able to push the baby around and it is really awesome. Let me show you what I've learned about it so far. So I'm still a little bit rusty at setting it up. It takes some getting used to, but I think once you get the actual hang of it, it is, it is like second nature. So this first piece comes up here. When you lift this part up, it kind of opens everything. And then handlebars go up. There is the little shade cover here. Kind of getting better at it. And then the nice thing with the handle is it just fits right in. And it has this little piece that goes across to hold it in place. And with this setting that we have it on now, when we, we, the parent is actually able to control when it turns. Of course, when he gets bigger, he'll use it as a trike and he'll be able to steer himself. So like I said, we were able to take it to the lake. We used it a lot, like on gravel. There was some gravel paths there. So the wheels seemed to hold up pretty good and maneuver pretty well over that. I've also taken him for a couple of walks in the neighborhood. Um, I will say he's like kind of a rambunctious little one. And so it's a good thing that it has this to kind of hold him in. He doesn't want to wear the straps. Like I said, he's kind of rowdy. Um, so that's one thing that I have noticed is that I love this thing and Luke is not quite on board. He wants to be big, he wants to walk, he wants to stand up, he wants to climb, he wants to do all this. So I think mom actually kind of likes it more than the baby does, but I'm hoping it'll kind of grow on him as we go. 
So the wheels did pretty good. We went from concrete to gravel. It actually did pretty well um, maneuvering downstairs. We took it up a hill, like we, we put this thing to the test. Um, the other thing that I like, just like the Duna uh, car seat stroller is that it has the telescoping handle that's really nice in a fluid motion and height adjustable for different ages or parents or other older siblings. Um, so I do like that. On the day we went to the lake, it was super sunny. So I was very thankful to have this little sunshade. I just think it's super cute and it did a nice job protecting him from the sun. Plus it just looks like he's a super cool, high class little baby. <laughs> A couple of other things is it is really easy to put him in, so I like that. Um, the straps are adjustable here. Um, it's not the, the easiest thing to get him buckled, at least for our kid, he's like really trying to wiggle while I'm trying to like strap him in. So you definitely need two hands to do that, buckle him in. This is fantastic for keeping him from falling out. Uh, one thing I did notice on the walk is with the little um, pedals here, they're not actually working. It's just a nice little foot rest for them and then kind of get them used to it. Um, is we put his feet in and we did belt, you know, secure his feet in, but of course he is, I don't know if it's everybody's kid, but this little person is very rowdy. So he actually was able to get his feet out and he kind of got it pinched on the side here um, one of the times. And so, I don't know, just, just something with my first impression about it. Um, I do like also because he had a bag of Cheetos and his little Cheeto fingers grabbed this uh, little thing here. So you can see it's already stained, but the nice thing about it is it is Velcro. So I foresee that this will probably get dirty often and I can just take it off and throw it in the wash pretty quickly or even go without it. Um, but it is nice, kind, kind of nice having that extra padding. So it definitely opens up easily. Now collapsing it is another thing. Uh, we're starting to get familiar with it after doing it a few times this first week. Um, but I'll show you a little, couple of little tricks that we've learned. The first few times we were doing it, we had the hardest time. It does actually have a QR code in the back that says how to fold. Um, and if you're like us and you don't read instructions and you just do trial and error, then you'll kind of look silly the first few times. <laughs> Um, but so to take it down, one of the first things that we noticed is that you've got to take this little pin out and a little tip here too, when you first um, are putting this together, we had the hardest time getting the pin to go all the way in and we were struggling with it. Well, come to find out this actually has to be up a little bit or that, that little uh, pass through is blocked. So once that's up a little, it goes in nice and easily. So that was another trial and error discovery by us. <laughs> so to collapse it, take the pin out. You can put the handle down, it'll slide right out. Um, and then the handlebars will go down. So you'll push this button in, pull this, and it just collapses there. Next, this was the trickiest part for us. You push these in and it kind of like goes down See how it just kind of goes down in a nice little position there. And then the last part is there is a handle here. I'm gonna pull that up. And that's kind of similar to the Duna car seat too, actually you pull that up and then this piece goes down nice and easily. And I will show you how much I love this bag. So just lay it out and this is gonna fit nicely inside of it, which is so great for travel. Like I said, I actually love this leaky trike so far um, more than the baby does. And I think he just wants to walk. So the good thing is if you're traveling, you can easily put the baby in and stroll them, which is nice. But if they still wanna be held, you're gonna be holding this and the baby at the same time. <laughs> so there's a little uh, pouch here on the front that will fit the handle. and then throw it on your back, go to your car, throw it in your car, there you have it. So this is our first impression of the Leaky Trike. So far, I absolutely love it, but I already love, loved my Duna car seat stroller. As you know, getting the baby on board is a different thing. I think once he can actually pedal and uh, do that, he may feel a little bit more fond of it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. We look forward to doing a more extensive review as we use it more and it grows with him. Uh, so look out for further videos to come. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. We appreciate all of you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do. We appreciate it. It means a lot to us. And thank you. And as always, have a blessed day. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>